Welcome back to the Davening Experience. We were discussing the second bracha in Shonesrei, which is called Gvuros, because it praises HaKadosh Baruch Hu for his incomparable might. And the focus of this bracha, this praise of Hashem, is on the capacity, the power of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that he has over life and over death. And we say, Hashem, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the Mighty One constantly and forever. He is the Mechaye Mesim. He is the one that revives the dead. And what we didn't speak about a couple of times ago was Rav, Lahoshia, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Rav. And Lahoshia means, of course, to save salvation. What's Rav, Lahoshia? So Rav comes from the word Rabba, or Great. And it means that once we recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has the power to be Mechaye Mesim, to revive the dead, so then that demonstrates, that proves that his capacity to save us, to save anyone in any given situation is beyond anything we could ever imagine. And we're praising HaKadosh Baruch Hu for our confidence and our understanding, our emuna. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who can revive the dead, therefore can do anything and can save us in any situation. What's really, really curious is why we then go on to say here specifically, Mashiv Haruach Umorid Hageshem or Hagashem, different ways to pronounce it. Why all of a sudden is that stuck in over here? Here, all of a sudden, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that makes the wind blow, Mashiv Haruach and Morid to come down, Yoreid. Is Morid the Geshem, the rain? <laughs> what does this have to do with Tchis HaMesim, with the might of a Kaddish Baruch Hu? So I think the very simple understanding here is that when the rain comes down to the world, it's what gives life to the world. And water, rain specifically, has that imagery that when the world is without rain, the world becomes dry, becomes parched, becomes bones, bone dry is a phrase that people use. The world becomes such a dry place and the water that comes down revives it. We probably all have had the experience with plants. Um, I know I am a plant killer um, and we've had these experiences where we water too much, we water too little. And um, I don't know if you've had this experience, but you know how you'll walk in one day and the plant kind of looks something like, like this. Everything is down. Everything's like falling over. And then, you know, like it's finished. You know, what, what can I possibly do? You add a little water and a few minutes later, all of a sudden, the stalks begin to stand up straight and the whole plant comes back to life. That's the koach of water. And it's unbelievable. We all know that the weathermen, you know, they, they say that medicine is a practice, but I don't know. It seems like the weathermen of the, or, or women or the meteorologists, that's a much, uh, a much greater practice than anything else because they're constantly practicing and they don't seem to be getting it right too often. Everything is the chances of this, the chances of that. Is there a chance to rain? I don't know. What are the chances? So we have no idea when it's going to rain. And you take a look, they have all of these hurricane trackers. And whenever there's a great storm, so the meteorologists, they try to track the storm where it's going to go, sometimes successfully, sometimes less successfully. But nobody can figure out when, how, under what conditions the hurricane is actually going to form. When there's a storm and it's going across the United States of America, following the jet streams, whatever pathway that it's going to take. So the meteorologists, they try to figure out the pathway of the storm. Is it going to break up? Is it not going to break up? And, and nobody knows with certainty what's going to happen with a storm. And number two, if there's going to be precipitation from the storm. And Chazal tell us that the key of rain is in the hands of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Rain is critical to the world. It's what gives life to the world. And without rain, without water, so the world has no life. And a Kaddish Baruch Hu has the key to that. And it's important to realize that when we praise a Kaddish Baruch Hu, specifically for rain. We're praising HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the life that it gives to the world. And yes, it's a metaphor, but it's also not. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is in charge of the rain, he has the key to the rain, and we recognize the, the power that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has because he gives life to the world with the rain. And we need to consider how important that is and how that's a praise of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that he, that he gives us rain. And chas v'shalom, there shouldn't be droughts, and shouldn't be anything that's going to hold it back.